Today we're going to design a label. The label will have variable input fields. I'm using Zebra Designers Essentials version 3. And what we'll do is we'll create that label template. Once we're done with uh, the creation of that template, we will send that label template over to our desktop printer. And the printer we're using for this video is a ZD621. It has the integrated color touch display. And for the variable input, we can use the virtual keyboard that's available on that printer, but for the purposes of the video, we're going to integrate a USB scanner with that ZD621. And how we do that is we connect the scanner via USB to the USB host port on the back of the printer. So let's get started. Okay, our label template is created. So if you click on each one of these fields here, if you look on the right hand side, you'll see a window and in the window, you got four tabs, a source tab, a barcode tab, position tab, and a general tab. This is where you can alter the parameters of that particular field. So let me highlight a few things for the product SKU field here. For example, you can adjust the color of the font, the style of the font, the size of this font, where, how that font is positioned within that text box. For the variable input field, I want to show you this, the source tab. So under the data, we have this set for variable keyboard input. This is important. So if you're going to be accepting variable input, you want to make sure that this thing says variable keyboard input. Even though we're going to use a scanner in the video, you do not want it to say fixed data. Another thing I want to highlight here is when you put in that variable data, you can have a prompt that appears on the display of the uh, color touch display of the printer. And in this particular case, I put the prompt text to say scan product SKU. And I did this, for example, in another field here, scan Bluetooth MAC address. So you can adjust those fields to say what you want them to say so that when somebody scans it, they know what they're supposed to be scanning. So what we're going to do now is now that the label is created, we're going to send the label to the printer. OK, let's send the file over to our printer. So I'm going to go all the way over here. To, we're in the Home tab, move to the File tab. I'm going to move down this list, Start, New, Open, all the way to I get to Store. I need to go to Printer Settings. This will open up the driver. And what I'm going to do is go to Printer Options. And where it says Advanced Settings and it talks about Backfeed, I'm going to hit this little box on the right. And instead of send this parameter to the printer, I'm going to say let the printer control this. I'm going to go to my graphics options and under printer graphics options image transfer mode i'm going to select instead of direct print download hit ok then i'm going to go here to printer memory location and set it for internal flash okay we're all set so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on store to printer so if you're looking at your printer and you look above the lcd display and you see a bank of icons the middle icon is the data light so what will happen is when I hit store to printer, you'll see that data light, if you're nearby, illuminate and pulse. So I can see it pulsing right now. So when that data light stops, I know my file has been sent to the printer. So my data light has stopped pulsing. My file is now stored on the printer. So we're going to hook up a, a USB scanner to the ZD621. We have a USB scanner here. This is a Zebra CS6080. So I'm going to take the... USB connection and on the back of the printer there is a USB host port. I'm going to plug it in. You can hear the scanner coming online. I'm going to go here to shortcuts. I'm going to go to print station and I'm going to find my label template which is here and I'm going to scan the product SKU. So I'm going to go here now, if I make any mistakes, I can use the keyboard to make any corrections I need to do. Then I'm going to hit the little check mark. Then I'm going to scan the serial number. Looks good. Then I'm going to scan the Bluetooth MAC address. Good. Now I'm going to scan the network address. Okay, everything is good to go. I want two labels, so I'm going to enter in two and hit the check mark. And the labels pop out of the printer, and you are all set.